How are you? Hi, Jim. I'm good. I shake your hand, but I got oh. a broken finger. Oh, no. How'd you manage that? So, I just put the dog out. She would be happy to show you. Behind the toilet. Okay. She'll be sitting watching TV with me, and all of a sudden, eyes will get big, and she will run in here and start barking. So, she hears something I don't hear. And I heard it behind here. How long have you lived in the home? Four years. Was this renovated be prior, do you know? Yes. It was, okay. Several pest control companies out. You've yep. had- you're uh, my fourth. Fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can hear them scurry off in here. Oh yeah, they're uh, around here. Okay. My dog alerts to the baseboard in my closet. But the hottest activity would be that bathroom for sure. No, the hottest would be here. It was now. right here. Yep. Okay, excellent. Now, um, okay. when it first started here, Yep. I would hear them come in, like right around the, and I would hear them come out over here. So oh. now we'll go outside and I'll show you. Where they place the traps? Oh yeah. Okay. This is Stella. Hi Stella. You gonna help us today? Are you gonna help us today? At my daughter's house. <laughs> She actually caught him. Let's get it. Oh, you got a rat. You're a ratter then. Yes, she is. You are a ratter. And she hears him in the wall and she is just infuriated. Oh, we gotta help. We gotta help you get rid of these rats. This is the kind of traps we have. Oh, poison traps. Oh. We actually caught one right here. Okay. And we caught one over here. Okay. And then I caught one on the ground. I don't even like to open this because I'm afraid something will run out. Up in the right hand corner. Oh yeah, foamed and there's a rat trap up here too. Anything in it? No. Well, we've got some work ahead of us today. I don't know how to help you. <laughs> well, we're gonna have you open up all the walls when we tell you to we'll mark it and you just open up the walls <laughs> okay, for us. Okay, I'll just do that. <laughs> we got a funny boy here. Stelly, when the rats come out of the walls, we need you to catch her, okay? Yes, get ready, get warmed up. All right, well, our team is here. We're gonna get up on the roof. We're gonna get the equipment set up and we're gonna get started. Time to get to work. We'll perform the smoke test and maybe we can drop this light down so if we do get smoke and it comes out here, we know that this could be an area here. Right, right. right. But I wanna go up to the roof and do a sniff check. Rat trap there, rat trap there. Wait. Oh, right here. There's the toilet bit. Oh. I think, uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Want to come up here? Yeah. All right, so this is the three inch here for that toilet, guys, in that bathroom. So I don't see any other vents. This may pick up all the vents for this bathroom. So we're going to insert the smoke right here and then go down in the house and see what we get. Now you can see this is a flat roof. We don't have any attic access. So I'm hoping we can do a full concentration of smoke and we can get some bleed through, like uh, vanity, electrical socket, something like that. You could see the attempts of spray foam all the way around this air conditioning unit. They tried their best. Okay, we got smoke. I smell it. All right, we're getting smoke. As you can see, I removed that escutcheon and it started bleeding through. And that's right where the dog paws. You can see where she got some of the paint off. Yep, so we have a breach somewhere in this wall and 99% chance you've got a sewer rat issue. I am pretty sure that this is where a rat died last October. Okay. And I could smell it, but I left uh, the country and when I returned, it didn't smell anything. Yeah, it usually goes away about set after about seven days or yeah, so. Yeah, I was gone for 13 days. It smells awful. When we do the enzyme treatment, that should get rid of any odors. And then if there's a dead carcass in there, nesting, all that's got to be removed. And I even Googled, you know, what's the lifespan of a rough rat? And it said two to four years. And I thought maybe it'll just get old and die, but no. I can't stand this. Yeah, no, it's it, it'll be a constant battle because they're coming in and out, in and out. Yeah. And what happens with the sewer rats is as they're going down the main city sewer, they sense an airflow. They're opportunists, so they'll come in, nest, leave pheromones, and attract other sewer rats to come in. So it'll be a never-ending battle. I'm just going to write that down. Okay, we're getting prepared. What we're going to do is make an incision here above this tank, reintroduce the smoke. 
uh, or look inside and inspect inside this cavity. So it's gonna be interesting what we find. Here we go. and tons of smoke. Massive breach down below. Guys, I just saw a live rat. It came down that two on top of that two inch and then dropped down once he saw me. We're definitely gonna have to open up lower as you saw the smoke coming up. So we know the breach is down below. So this toilet's gonna have to be detached and uh, we're gonna have to make an incision down below, but we definitely have some live rats for sure. Now it's getting interesting, huh? One came across the pipe, saw me and then dove down. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Guys, when we open up, we gotta make sure that this door is sealed right. with tape. I don't want the rats coming out. Me either. Actually, Josephine could be right here to catch them, yeah. you guys. I get my dog in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oftentimes when we make an incision, they get into panic mode and then they can drop back into the hole that they're coming in and out of. Here we're gonna go ahead and extract the water out of the toilet bowl and tape. That's nasty. Well, that was quick. Okay, are you ready for what we found? Yep. Look at that. They chewed oh right through gosh. the pipe. And where is that as far, like how high up on the wall? About three feet up high. I'm going to fix that pipe, get all that cut out of there, reintroduce the smoke and see if we have any other breaches okay. on that side of the house. Okay. Okay. You will hear it louder than ever tonight, okay. possibly. So be prepared for that. If you do hear the aggressive noise that you've never heard before, that is a great, great sign. The reason why is because we disrupted their entry and exit points. Now they're freaking out. They don't know where to go. And when you disrupt them, they now become hungry. They become thirsty. They have no more food and water source. That's when the trapping becomes magic. We're also going to have my rat vac in there as well because they're used to going in and out of the pipe. I'm going to set my rat vac up. If you hear the rat vac go off at night, that means that rats have entered into our trap and it's, it's sucking them into our vacuum. And then if you hear that, you call me and we're, you know, within 10 minutes, we'll be here. All right, so the guys are getting ready here. We're gonna open up this big section here and look both ways so we could set some traps and our monitoring cameras and gives us the opportunity to disinfect and get all the droppings out of here. So it's gonna be interesting what we find up here. Yeah, these rats had no idea what was coming this morning. Now it's a matter of fixing that pipe, setting some traps, monitoring, ready to attack. Let's do this. All right, let's go check on Daniel. Nice, Daniel. What's going on? Oh, shoot. We got this open. Well, that's disgusting. Okay, so Raul's gonna start getting this pipe replaced. You can see the rag grease inside that inner wall of that pipe. So that rat that I saw definitely dumped back down into the sewer. We're gonna go ahead and put this drain cleaner. It's heavy duty drain opener. Very, very toxic. And it will have a burning sensation. So we can burn these little ratones naglitas. Just so you guys know, if you don't understand Spanish, naglitas is little butts, okay? Mm -hmm. Little butts. Did I say that right, Spanish speakers? Naglitas. Naglitas. Nag... What the hell? Now what? Nal. Nal. Nalguitas. 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 Thank you, Professor.
So the question is, should you remove the... Yes, the, those boxes. Yeah, they're not doing anything for your inside house. Yeah. If you're not worried, you'll never be able to control the outside rats. They're living in the palm trees, just like your neighbor said. How much is it a month for him to set those? Well, let's see, I think I'm paying quarterly. I think it's a 150 maybe. Yeah. It's a waste. I went up to the roof. Nothing's been activated. The bait's still there. I would save that extra money and not worry about it. When you called them out, mm -hmm. you said, I hear scratching in my walls and my ceilings. That was the extent. I mean, they obviously went around the house, sealed up holes. Mm -hmm. That was the extent of their work as far as some light exclusion work and then setting up traps. Did they say this should solve your problem? They said when they sealed the holes that if I had a rat in the wall, it would die. It would smell eventually the smell would go away, but it would keep other rats from coming in. So when they plugged up holes that they thought that they saw and put the foam around and everything, the idea was nothing else can get in. Okay. And if there's anything in there, it can't get out. So it's, it's going to die. It's going to die. Smell. I would call them and tell them to come pick come up again. the traps. Yep. When was the last time they were here to do all the exclusion work? A couple months ago? Six months ago? A couple months ago. So after two months, did you call them as they were coming to monitor? Did you tell them, hey, I'm still hearing them? Oh, yeah. And how do they react? It just takes time? Well, yeah, well, we'll try this other thing. That's when they put little holes in the ceiling and in the wall, and they squirted uh, some stuff in there. Was it like a repellent? I think there were two different products they used because I kept calling them back and saying, this is not working. I still okay. have breath. So as I understand that one was a deterrent and the other was a cleansing kind of a thing. Oh, obviously it didn't help. Right. Tons of rat poop in that soffit, just like you said. Oh, yeah. Tons. Okay. And I think the lady that sold me this house had a rat problem. There was a couple places where it looks like there was a hole, but it had already been covered up. The lady that sold me this house, she had lived here at least 10 years, maybe longer. And all the work she had done, including the addition to the house, she had family members do. And so everything is wrong. Is wrong, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're turning on the smoke machine now. Okay. And see if we have any other smoke. So guys, when it comes to rats inside of your wall, you're hearing any activity, hiring a typical pest control company to set some traps outside is not sufficient enough to extract rats out of your wall. You gotta be able to do this exact type of protocol in order to really stop this activity inside of a wall. So very rare that it would be an outside hole. Anytime you have rats inside of a wall, more than likely it's gonna be the sewer rats. Everything online when it comes to all of the content out there that how to repel, how to remove rats out of a wall is literally garbage. It's such a waste of time. The repellents, setting up traps, poison bait stations around your house. That is not how you extract rats out of your wall. So you can see what Joe went through with this other pest control companies. They come out, they seal some holes up, but still after two months, there's noise and activity and they want to try different t uh, tactics like repellents and whatever they injected in that ceiling. It obviously was a waste of money. It was a waste of time. And as it prolongs, more damage is being caused inside that ceiling. So if they can't stop it within five to seven to 10 days at most, you've hired the wrong company. I would not waste another week or day if they can't resolve it within five to 10 days. I'm not getting any smoke. If you ever see a tub like this and there's an access panel, always look inside that access panel. So we're gonna do that right now. There we go. Nope, they're not under here. All clear, safe to proceed. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is now that the pipe has been completely repaired, the rats are used to getting on this copper and going into where that breach was. So what we're gonna do, because we know more than likely there's some remaining rats inside this wall cavity, we're gonna go ahead and set up our rat vac. So we lined it right there where that copper pipe is. Now we're gonna insert the twins rat vac. So what will happen is the rats will go into starvation mode. They will come over here for this feed plate, which will bait with peanut butter. They'll cross our sensor, and once they cross the sensor, it's gonna activate the 6.5 vacuum. We're gonna pour our enzyme inside of there. That way they get dumped, and they'll die within a few minutes. What's great about the Twins Rat Back, though, if you are into trapping with a humane catch and release, all you need to do is don't put any liquid, leave the vacuum drum dry, and when you're ready to release, 
you open the drain plug and the rats will come out. The other trapping invention that we've created because we've seen so many rats flip these traps or get away from the traps is this. We created the Twins Rat Bait Station with the Twins Rat Hoodie and the Bait Tugger. The rats go in deep for the bait, they tug on the bait tugger and activate the trap, catching more rats. That's why our motto is twice the catch, twice as fast. This will control any odor. So if we catch several and they wait, we don't want to dispose them in the morning and they smell. So this enzyme is an amazing odor neutralizer. Okay, so you can see here, we baited the bait tugger with peanut butter and half Slim Jim. So we'll see which one they go off of. I'm hoping we can extract a lot from the twins rat back, but this right here is the secret formula to catching more rats. Okay guys, up here in the ceiling, we have our camera and then we have our bait station here. We load it up with the bait tugger, Slim Jim, and peanut butter. Things are about to get ugly. All right, so Johnny has now secured that in this bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and test a couple products here and see which rat trap is going to trap the most rats. Let me show you. We're gonna test out this right here the Victor electric rat trap. You can see that there's peanut butter far back. That's on. The twin rat hood and bait station against the twin rat back. Now mind you, these are sewer rats. So they're used to going through pipes. That's why the twins rat back is so, so amazing when it comes to extracting rats out of a wall and a ceiling. So let's wait till tomorrow morning. Here we go. Day two. All right, guys, it's 24 hours later. Did we get any on the traps? Who won the trap challenge? We're about to walk in and see what we got. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Any noises? Oh yeah. The back thing went off maybe six or seven times okay. that I heard. At 3.30, 3.29 to be exact, there was a rat in that soffit area. In that soffit, okay. Oh, three one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Smile, you're on Twin Home Experts camera. Good job. Yes. Good job. Sorry, buddy. Yeah causing a lot of havoc to Joe. I know guys, I kind of felt bad too with that live rat just sitting in that water, but at the end of the day, the destruction that these rats make, it's incredible and, and the investment that homeowners have to make in order to rectify it and the damage that they do. So I'm just thrilled with, with uh, how this is ending up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the ceiling here and see what we have on these traps, if any. Nothing on that one. And I went ahead and placed a rat trap, you guys, just to show you, and this is a perfect example of why we no longer use snap traps like this. Look at how it got deployed and the rats got away. So this is why we don't use this. This is why this is really, really important to use. I tied a string for a reason that a lot of times, the other reason why we don't use these traditional snap traps is that the rats will literally carry it through. So I inspected here and I saw, see the blood? So I inspected further, and what happened was, and again, this is why we don't use traditional snap traps. Got him. Ooh, got him good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a electrostatic fogging. So we're gonna pour our enzyme inside this fogger and then add water. You can see here that uh, this toilet is set. 
textured the wall, we've patched, and she's just gonna bring her painter in and finish the painting. So really guys, the moral of this episode here is if you're hearing scratching in your walls, 99% of the time, it's not going to be an outside rat coming in. So hiring a pest control company to set bait stations and rat traps on the roof and on the side and the exterior does nothing, has no effect on rats coming from or having activity inside that wall. So really hope you guys got this in, in this particular episode because she went through, I'm the fourth guy as you, as you heard her. She kept saying, ah, Jim, I wish I would have called you in the very beginning. And the other thing I'm recommending to guys, because we're going to so many calls, and if you watched our videos, so many house flippers have so many defects. And home inspectors, they're not gonna catch things like that. It's impossible. So I would recommend, if you're gonna buy a home or house flip home, I would introduce smoke and as part of your inspection. I really think that should be a requirement. Uh, because look at she moves in and has to bear the expense of all of this if she would have known about this and a lot of people aren't getting educated until they're watching our videos but something to consider do a smoke test if you're buying a house flip for sure well guys another successful job here post your comments hit that subscribe button and oh wait dave's got to do the rat dance for joe dave get to it i agree jim these bait boxes are worthless but instead of throwing them away will they withstand the rat dance guys i feel like a supermodel with these bait stations on let's do the rat dance <laughs>